Hello, eighth grade scientists. This is Miss Ludwig, and I am bringing you your week 18 overview of assignments. I am in Canvas looking at the week 18 remote module. These assignments will run from Monday, December 14th until Friday, December 18th. You always have until Sunday at midnight to make sure that all of these assignments in this module are complete. At the top of the module here, we have the week 18 at a glance that will help you stay on pace with assignments for each day, but as always, they're also laid out by day right here in this module. There's also a reminder at the top that you have an opportunity to join your teacher for Google Meet on Wednesday, December 16th at 11 o'clock. Um, your teacher will typically review things with you and give you help on any assignments. So you have, if you have questions or any concerns, Google Meet is a good time to chat about that with your teacher. So let's take a quick overview of the whole week and then I'll take you assignment by assignment. So on Monday, day one, you will start with a Glow Germ Lab discussion post. Day two, you will work on your bacteria study guide questions. Day three, you have a bacteria playlist to complete. Day four, a virus ed puzzle. And day five, the virus study guide questions. So overall, this is a pretty light week for you. Um, it should be helpful to you leading up to Christmas break to make sure your, all of your assignments are complete and you're uh, off on the right foot for next semester. So first assignment would be the Glow Germ Lab discussion post. Um, always read the directions, of course, in each assignment. There's a lot of helpful hints there, but it says before viewing the video, you should identify in your own words what a microorganism is. So remember the stem micro. Micro means small, so we are studying small organisms. Um, like bacteria, viruses, fungus, parasites, protists, things of that nature. Um, so jot down a few examples of that and then go ahead and watch this video. And then after you've watched the video, add to your discussion post the importance about proper hand washing techniques. I can't wait to read your um, ideas on that. Next, we have the bacteria study guide questions. Ladies and gentlemen, please, please, please do not Google the answers to your study guide questions. You will not receive full credit for that. And also, the reason we don't want you to do that is not because we don't want you to know the answers, but because Google is a lot smarter than eighth grade level biology. And so sometimes answers that we're getting um, from Google don't make any sense. They don't make sense to you and they don't make sense to your teacher. So it's not helping you learn, which is the whole point. So in order to help you answer your study guide questions, we have gone ahead and posted the bacteria notes, it's a slideshow, right here so that if you need help answering those questions, you can. A couple quick hints, this is a slideshow. So as you tap on the screen, it will move along and you can read all the same notes that we've gone over in our face-to-face -face class. But in case you are a person that really likes to hear the teacher explain things, let's see if I can get back to, first page here. On the first slide, Micro 3 Bacteria page 6. This is a link. If you click it, you can hear, I think it's me, um, explain to you the bacteria notes. So that may be helpful to you, okay? Then once you scroll down, you will see there are three questions that go along with those notes. So again, if you don't know the answers to these questions, please refer to the notes or watch the video that is linked right here, okay? Uh, the next thing is the Micro 3 Bacteria Playlist. So this is set up um, in a similar fashion as the uh, Molecular Biology Test Review Playlist, but you will start by clicking this link and going ahead to make yourself a copy. This will automatically add it to your drive, so you don't need to make more than one copy. You can just go to your drive to find it once it's made. You have three options this week to review some things about uh, bacteria. So if you are a person that really likes Quizlets, do your Quizlet. Take a screenshot of your excellent 85% or higher test score, and you will insert that onto slide two. If you're a fan of quizzes games, you can play this quizzes game. Take a screenshot of your score of 85% or higher. And the third option is called Bacteria in the Cafeteria. It is actually a game. There will be some directions when you link it. Um, at the end of that, you will have solved a word puzzle. So screenshot the answer to the word puzzle at the end if you complete that. Again, this is kind of a choose your own adventure playlist. So if you only have time or only want to complete one of these assignments, you could do just the Quizlet or one of the other assignments, submit your screenshot and get an 80%. If you choose to do two of the assignments, you will get a 90. If you choose to do all three and you include a screenshot 
On the second slide, you will get a 100% for this activity. So again, here is where your screenshots will go. You can follow these directions to insert the pictures. You'll probably have to resize them a little bit. And then you just go in and submit this um, whole slideshow right in Canvas. If you've forgotten how to do that, these directions will help you. But uh, basically, you need to make sure you click the Google Doc tab at the bottom of submission and go through it that way. Do not submit it as a file submission like a screenshot because your teacher will not be able to see it. If you have questions about that, please email your teacher. Let's see, where is my next button? The virus ed puzzle should be easy for you to complete. Um, as always, it's just a video with questions, but we have also included the virus notes that we are going over um, in face-to-face -face class. And again, this micro two viruses is a link. So you can listen to Ms. Kerr explain these notes to you if that is helpful. So take a peek at these notes, click through the slideshow, read about viruses, then you can scroll down and complete your virus ed puzzle video. Remember, as you're watching the video, you need to answer those questions correctly to get the best grade. If you don't know the answer, click the rewatch button. It will only make you rewatch this that small section that you missed. And then last but not least, we'll do the virus study guide questions. So again, please do not Google these answers. If you're not sure of the answers, we have three questions about viruses. If you do not know these answers, look at the answers in this slideshow. Um, that's where the answers that we want you to know will be, okay? Again, if you have any questions at all, please email your teacher at any time and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, and I hope that we have a good Christmas break and you all stay happy and healthy.